Hi class, we're going to go ahead and keep working on our video. We're going to make some changes on it this time. We are going to move the text to the beginning. We're going to move the video back a little bit, which means we're going to have to change the size of the audio file. So let's go ahead and get into your uh, program here. Open your project. Mine's called Project 1. And we're going to get in here. So this video has the text over the video, I want to move that text to the beginning as if we're watching a bit of an intro and then I want the uh, video to play. So let's go ahead and get right into it. It seems real simple to do because all I have to do is grab my video sprite here, slide it to the end of my text. Now if you did make your text the entire length, if you left click on your text you should get your properties window up over here and then you can change the length right here. So if you made it um, so I'm going to go ahead and make that 10 seconds worth of text and I'm going to press enter and you can see that now we have 10 seconds worth of text there. Um, so if you made yours too long, let's go ahead and bring it back. We want about 4 seconds of text because we don't want to stare at the text for a really long period of time. We just want it up there long enough that people can read it, so about 4 seconds would be great. So my text is now the right length, my video is at the end, but if you'll notice here, my audio is no longer long enough, so we're going to restore what we cut out. So I right click on the audio, go to cutting and splitting, I'm going to click on restore region, and then I need to apply the changes. So go ahead and do that, click on yes, you'll see that our audio went back to its original length. At this point I'm going to right click, and I'm going to cut it and split it again. So if I look at the end of my video, we're probably about someplace in, in fact, let's go ahead and exit out of that. Let's take our um, cursor down here. We're probably looking at about 23 seconds would be plenty. If I come back down here, you can see that my position is at 20 seconds, um, two or three seconds of blank video and then finishing out with the audio would be excellent. So let's go ahead and head for about 23 seconds. I'm going to right click on my audio, cutting and splitting. That means I'm going to come down here um, on the timeline. I'm going to come down here. You can see I'm at 23.75. Let's come bring it back in there just about, you know, oh, 22.8 is very close to 23 seconds. I'm going to start my selection there. I'm going to come down to the timeline at the end. I'm going to end selection. There's what I want to cut out. I'm going to cut region. And now you can see I've got about 22, 23 seconds of video. I mean audio. Uh, apply changes. Yes, I want to apply those changes. Now my audio covers everything. Now let's go back to the text real quick. So if I want to change the text, I'm going to go ahead and double click, open it up. I'm going to move this text down. And then I want to change my text size because I've got a lot more room to work with. So I'm going to highlight that and you'll notice that nothing is coming up here to change my text size or font or anything like that. There's not going to be anything unless you come down here and click on the Scene Zero tab. Once I click on the Scene Zero tab, then all my editing changes take place up there. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. I'm going to come over here and I'll make it about, oh, I don't know, 72 point uh, size. If I need to go a little bit smaller, I can always type in. and uh, But I think 72 should be fine. I'm going to grab this. Let's click off of it and grab it and move it over. I'm barely fitting on the screen, so if I wanted something a little tiny bit smaller, I can go ahead and highlight that. I can click up in there, and let's go ahead with a 70 point. So I'm going to type 70 and press Enter, and it made it just a tiny bit smaller, and I'm still within the screen size. So you can make those changes. Now let's go ahead and preview. I have my text coming in. There was no intro, there was no fade in, there was no transition there. Um, but I've got my text now at the beginning as an introduction. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of uh, effects at the beginning just to, you know, I'm just going to quickly fade in. I'm going to say um, from scene beginning, one second is just fine. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to come back out here and I'm going to right click on my text. I'm going to put in a video effect, transparency, and let's fade it out. And I want to go to scene end for about a second. Should fade that in, fade that out. 
Uh, let's go back in here. Let's see if I can go ahead and right click and add a video effect here. Let's go ahead and um, fade that in as well from scene beginning. So let's go back to scene zero. Let's play the preview and let's get our preview playing from the beginning. We fade it in at four seconds. We should fade out and we now have something happening that looks a little bit more professional when you have something that's that's kind of transitioning in. Uh, we, but we do have some basic effects happening. We should still have our music. We have our music playing a little bit and it played all the way to the end and faded out. We're good to go. So make those changes please. Go back in there and move your text to the front by moving your video back farther. Uh, you'll need to change the size of your audio file. You'll need to change your text around, maybe make it centered. Uh, you need to put a transition in on your text, transition out on your text, as well as on your video. So have a good time uh, making this even better. And the next time when we work on things, I'll show you how to turn that text in the beginning into a video of its own through PowerPoint. So we'll see you next assignment.